Hi, I'm Pastor David of Calvary Chapel, Chino Valley. As we approach the Easter season, it's important to understand the reason why we celebrate. We know that over 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ lived a sinless life, was crucified to pay the penalty for our sins, was buried, and rose from the grave on the third day. That third day, the day of his resurrection, is the day when everything changed. Over the next five weeks leading up to Easter Sunday, I'd like to take you through portions of chapter 15 of 1 Corinthians, which is devoted entirely to one central doctrine, the doctrine of the resurrection. Today, I'd like to present you with five reasons why the resurrection is central to our faith. First, Jesus claimed to be God in human flesh and his divinity is proven by the resurrection. We see this in Romans chapter one, verse four, where Paul wrote that Jesus was declared to be the Son of God with power according to the spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the dead. Second, the Lordship of Jesus depends on his resurrection. In Romans 14, verse nine, Paul said, to this end, Christ died and rose and lived again, that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. Third, our personal justification rests on his resurrection. In Romans 4, verse 25, it says, he was delivered for our offenses and was raised because of our justification. In 1 Corinthians 15, 17, it says, and if Christ is not risen, your faith is futile, you're still in your sins. Fourth, our personal salvation depends on his resurrection. Paul said in Romans 10, verse nine, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. And fifth, our own resurrection rests on whether or not Jesus was raised from the dead. Paul shared in Romans chapter eight, verse 11, but if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. Christ's death, burial, and resurrection were at the core of Paul's preaching time and time again, as we see in 1 Corinthians 15, verses three and four, because Paul said there, for I delivered to you first of all that which I also received, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. These were real events that had eyewitnesses. Paul preached these facts so that others would believe and come to faith in Christ. May we be reminded of the saving power of the gospel and be moved to share the good news with others that their lives may be changed as well. God bless you.